Anya Forger is the deuteragonist of the very popular Spring 2022 series Spy Family. She is a telepath whose powers were the result of experimentation by an unknown organization. Anya is now a student at Eden Academy and the adopted daughter of Lloyd and Yor Forger. She is one of the most cutest, most protect characters, and her popularity seems to be growing with every single week. So today I have 10 facts about Anya Forger from Spy Family. Anya's name is the Russian diminutive of the name Anna, which means grace. A Russian diminutive is a kind of standard nickname in English-speaking countries, just like someone who would be called Joe instead of their full name of Joseph. Anya's name was also originally romanized as Anya with an I by the series creator Tatsuya Endo. And as such, in the backgrounds of earlier chapters, you can see her name spelt with the I rather than that of the Y. Anya's power is that of telepathy, where she can read the minds of both people and animals. This ability is usually depicted with small sparkles around her head. Now, as we have seen, Anya is very sensitive when she is in large crowds. The large intake of people's thoughts all around her easily overwhelm her to the point where she starts to feel dizzy and gets nosebleeds. There does seem to be limits to the ability as she has to be within a certain distance of her target to read their minds. And due to her age, she does find it difficult to understand more complicated minds such as Lloyd's. She has used her powers for much more, let's say Anya-like things. Now, she loves the extra toys that come with certain candy brands. Anya actually attempts to use her telepathic powers to read the contents of the box so that she can acquire her desired toy from the set. The origins of both Anya and her telepathic powers are largely unknown just yet. We do know that her powers were made by accident due to the large amounts of research experiments conducted on her by an unknown organization. We also know that she was given the code name of Test Subject 007, which is a very clear reference to the famous fictional spy James Bond and his own code name of 007. We also don't know the motive of these experiments. They did tell Anya that over and over that this was for the sake of world peace and that she wasn't allowed to play, but instead focus on learning to hone her telepathic ability. Luckily, Anya did eventually escape the organization's facility and moved from institution to institution, desperately trying to find someone who would take care of her. Before being adopted by Lloyd, Anya had been fostered and returned four times and was also transferred out of two other orphanages. Did you know that Anya was originally planned to have been older and taller than how we know her now? In the bonus sketches of volume one of the Spy Family manga, we can see initial sketches of the Forge family. We can also see that her expression comes across as a lot more serious than what she ended up being. Now, her final design is adapted from another character that Tatsuya Endo had created called Ash from his one shot called Rengoku no Ash. Okay, so we talked earlier about Anya's telepathy having some weaknesses in terms of range of her target and being unable to understand more complicated minds. But there is also another big weakness, though of course it is very situational. So in chapter 26 of the manga, it is revealed that during the new moon that happens once a month, Anya's telepathic abilities are temporarily shut off. The scientists at the laboratory where she was experimented on decided to call this eclipsing. Anya has a very childish way of speaking and often mispronounces words. In the Japanese versions of the manga, this is depicted through her speech and expressions being in hiragana instead of kanji. This we can largely put down to the fact that Anya has really never had a proper education due to the majority of her short life being spent experimented on or moving around from different families post her laboratory escape. And due to this constant moving around, much of Anya's background is unknown, albeit for a few details that Lloyd managed to dig up on her. Even her age is unknown, as he speculates that she is between four and five years of age. Despite this, she managed to pass the written exam of the Eden Academy admission process with 31 points. Yes, it was barely a passing mark, but when you take the fact that she hadn't had a proper education and the fact that this test was one that the six-year-olds were struggling with, this is pretty impressive. Anya states that her likes include her Chimera doll that is later nicknamed Director Chimera peanuts, spy cartoons, silenced pistols, 
bombs, castles, penguins, her uniform, and of course, Lloyd and Yor. What more can you expect from Anya, right? As for her dislikes, Anya is a very picky eater, but in particular, she states that she really hates carrots. Anya's Japanese voice actor is Atsumi Tanazaki. She is a Japanese voice actor born on the 27th of September. She is affiliated with the Tori Tori office and is represented by Tokyo Actors Consumers Cooperative Society. Now, she revealed in an interview that she watched Sailor Moon and thought that the portrayal of Sailor Moon was impactful, and thus she worked to become an actress herself. That she did, and she has had some pretty impressive roles that include Sayuri Hanayori in Seraph of the End, Ryo Futaba from Bunny Girl Senpai, Hiratsuru in Demon Slayer, and of course, many more. Anya's English voice actor is Megan Shipman. Papa, I want a pistol with a silencer! Sure, if there's one on sale. She is an American voice actor born and raised in Dallas, Texas. She started voice acting while she was studying music education at Louisiana State University, which she graduated with a bachelor's degree. She went on to work as a middle school choir teacher, but later quit the job in order to pursue her voice acting career. Now, Megan has gone on to voice some pretty amazing characters that include Yuzuru Yamai in Data Live, Alba Suzukaze from New Game, Yuzu Aihara in Citrus, and many more. On the Spy Family manga covers, each of the cover characters are all seen sitting on a stylish chair. Now, this may not seem like much, but all of these chairs are actually real designs. Not only that, but a Twitter user looked into this a bit further, speculating that they were all selected to match that of the character's personality. Anya is on the cover of Spy Family's second volume, and she is sat on a marshmallow sofa. Anya is sat with her Chimera doll with her legs swinging off of it. They believe that the pattern of the chair could be a visual reference to her telepathic powers in which each of the circles act as the many thoughts she hears on a daily basis. And that is it for Anya Forger. I hope you learned something new from today's video or at least enjoyed revisiting some of these facts on her. Whilst you wait for more Spy Family content, make sure to click the video link here to see 10 facts on Raftalia from The Rising of the Shield Hero that second season is also currently airing alongside Spy Family. Now, until next time, I will see you soon. Peace!